Hello guys, how are you haunt here? And today is Spear Halloween's uh, grand opening for flagship, which sadly I could not make it to. But next year I'm definitely gonna try. But we're not talking about Spear Halloween right now. We're talking about Halloween slash Party City. Now they uh, CBS something like I forgot what they were called. I'll tell you guys later. They just released all the animatronic videos except for one, which was kind of sad. But I'll show you guys uh, all these videos and we're gonna talk about them and give more detail and yeah let's go So here this thing is, as you guys saw in the video. They said pricing 200 bucks, which is actually really good for this thing. I don't know, but this lunging animation has the best lunging animation I've seen in a long time. They're about to see it again. But look how far it lunges down. Hopefully we get to see that with the werewolf too, but this guy lunges so far down. And the price for $200 is super, like, super worth it. There's no mouth movement, the eyes glow and everything, but this lunging animation like takes the cake. Two hundred dollars, such a good price for this, and definitely recommend buying. Angel of Death. Next, we have a fan favorite. Um, we had one of our favorite influencers unbox this guy. Shout out to Jarvis. Um, our ice cream clown here is two hundred dollars, so this is a great value. Uh, he's six feet tall. Um, what's really cool about him is like the face, you've seen this in like the up close and personal YouTube videos, but it's latex, it's squishy. Um, we have the LED rope lighting around the tie, the ice cream cone, and the actual sign. Um, so we love that. We're gonna make him work right now. So there he was, the, the lunging neon ice cream clown. Now this guy is super awesome. Now I don't know why, but like he just seems like such a good clown. Boy. 200 bucks again is awesome for this thing. His face looks really detailed and creepy. And the neon effect just gives everything, it just makes the clown look so much cooler. Uh, it's such a unique idea and it definitely executed very well. This thing is super awesome. The blood, all the blood makes it look very detailed. If I was a kid and like didn't know any of this stuff, I would definitely think it was real. They did great on the detail. And the lunging is so good that I'm sure this will get scarce in the store and at your house. And definitely recommend getting him. He is super awesome. Those yellow eyes make him look super creepy. And honestly, I think this is just a very another like another worth it prop. 200 bucks again, which is awesome for this awesome thing. He's $280. Some really cool details here. Um, chains, really large oversized hands. The inspiration for this is classic monsters, Frankenstein. So we haven't really had a monster out there in the wild that's this awesome, did they? So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on.
Okay, here we have Mad Monster Marlin, I think what they said. Um, now, if you guys watched my reaction video of seeing all the props and photos, I didn't think I was going to like him, and I think I'm sticking to that point still. Now, he's not a bad zombie prop, but he's definitely not the best. Now, his clothing is pretty bland, and those shoes are very high. I don't know why, but they are very high. Uh, his hair is kind of weird. It's, it looks fine, if you guys think. But, in my opinion, it's not the best. His hands are pretty cool, and his face has good detail. But the movement is just not enough for 280. But, he is pretty cool. And, yeah, if you guys want to get him, definitely get him. But, yeah, let's move on to the next prop. Favorite, we all have our really love this one. He's our 12 foot tall pumpkin. Like, uh, where it is, he's creeping around the store right now. Um, so, we're excited to see him land it. Uh, 12 feet tall, um, really cool gnarled hands. See, it has that like wood like pumpkin patch texture to it. Same with the chest piece. And then if you can see on the top of the collarbone, it has like that extra accent, which I really, really love. So we are going to see him. In Party City. Um, what we love about this one is the head movement. You don't see that on 12 foot tall animatronics, so um, that's a special touch for all right guys so here it is what my i think my personal favorite for this year as well this is the 12 foot pumpkin towering curry now i was so excited to see how this guy looked in person and i am not disappointed his hands are awesome with great detail the wood looks so real holy cow it does as you can see as they're showing the rib cage and the face look excellent i just love this prop I, w I don't know if I can get it. $500 is a bit high. But his movement is it's just fits for him. Like, I don't know what else they could do to make him better. But he is awesome. The flame effect looks really cool. His face, as you can see, is super cool. That's what I like about his, his face. It just carries the entire prop. Not the but he is such a huge prop. I don't know what to say. I just can't wait to see him in stores. Hopefully. Little buddy, our ghost trick or treater. Uh, we made him a little spooky with the bloody eyes, um, cool shoes on the bottom, and then just really haunted, spooky noises, right? Just to add that extra creep factor to your front porch. <laughs> Okay, so here's the little tr trick-or-treater ghost kid thing. Now, this guy is not bad for $100. I don't think I would plan on getting him, but for, like, more, like, littler displays and planning not to spend as much money, this is a good prop to buy. 100 bucks is not too bad for this guy. Plays scary music for your background. And just is scary in general. The eyes with the blood coming out makes it look scary. And it's just a good prop for littler displays. Now, if I got it, I don't think I have anywhere to put it. So that's probably the reason why I'm not getting it. But it still is a cool mini prop. And yeah, just pretty cool. So let's head on to the next one. Over here, um, I want to talk about Wendigo. So uh, Wendigo is uh, a bumpy tall. So you can on his antlers. Really based on folklore. Halloween City Stores are doing a castle Kilgore theme, 
which we've had for the last several years, this year has really killed the dark garden oriented. So you're going to see more creatures, things that live in the great outdoors. Um, so most of the enterprises, really all of them for Halloween City, um, are in this uh, creature vein. So this is our one to go. Check out some nice details here. Um, some vines, there's some cool fur up there. Uh, we'll love to have some so we really love the mechanisms on this head so that you'll notice the head's moving up, down, and then around to the side. So you have that, you know, 180 type of movement uh, with the head. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so here it is, the 12 foot Wendigo. Now, I think this is the most anticipated prop for this year for Halloween City. Now, it actually looks awesome. The detail on this thing is insane. Very good. The antlers look good. The hooves look very detailed too. 12 foot for a Wendigo prop is a little unrealistic, which kind of makes no sense. But, I mean, I see what they're trying to go there. They're trying to face the home depot 12 footers but like honestly this is a very good one and it's it's definitely like probably the best prop for their lineup this year and like the movement in the head tops off everything with this prop now it just looks so cool the red eyes and the scary sounds just i don't know what to say at this point it's awesome the 12 foot wendigo prop is just such a good prop $500 like the other one. Honestly, it's still high because Home Depot props are usually to 400. Yeah, 400 bucks, but $500. Uh, I, I like I said, I definitely doubt I'm going to get any of these because they're so expensive. If I had the money, I probably would, but this is a really cool prop. Okay, next another fave. Uh, this is Warg the Werewolf. Um, this guy is awesome. Nine and a half feet tall. Um, huge hands, really cool claws. Um, not in a flannel, which we love. Um, some really cool detailing, the fur. Um, also, we're not going to turn him on today. He is a uh, prototype. But what I do want to call out is his movement is really, really cool. So it's a faster mechanism, again, um, that lunges forward really quick. Um, and his, he snarls, his mouth opens and closes, and then he has digi eyes. So a lot packed into this prop uh, for $500. So this guy will be really, really cool. Um, as you can see with the legs and more fur detail uh, with his pants. So. Okay, so here it is. We have the nine foot lurching werewolf. And this thing is awesome. For 500 bucks, it is not bad. It's worth it because it literally is huge, lurches towards you, and as they say later on, as digi eyes. Now, the design is pretty bland, but I don't really care about that right now because the prop itself is amazing. Just like a, such a good werewolf prop in my opinion. I wish we could have saw the demo, but since it's a prototype, I guess we cannot. But otherwise, this guy is super cool, and I can't wait to see him in stores. Um, moving on, Scarecrow. So, there's been a lot of Scarecrows. It's a pretty classic Halloween character. Um, what's really awesome about this Scarecrow, it's value pricing, right? $220. Um, but check out how... One step closer. It's a really quick fall on the uh, drop down scarecrow. So some nice classic details. The hat, the straw, um, you know, some gnarly branch hands. Um, but the coolest part of this prop is really the quick drop down mechanism. like a good jump scare, you know, classic Halloween. Yeah, and this one doesn't mess around. No. All right, we're going to get him one more time from the side. There's not a soul left. 
We have the drop down scarecrow. This guy is amazing. Holy cow. I actually think I might get him from seeing this. 220 is actually such a good price for what this guy does. You're about to see this awesome jump scare. Here it comes. This thing is so cool. And look at that. That will get so many scares. The mech is insane for some handling something like, like these lurching props are awesome from Halloween City. They did amazing i am so happy and i just want to see this guy now i really hopefully i don't get scared on camera but still this thing is so cool and scary now the design like i said is not the best but honestly it do not care this thing will scare the living soul out of everyone as it says because it is such a cool one and stands at like seven feet tall i think probably one of the best scarecrow props out there this has to go versus jack straw I'm, i might make a video of that soon but still this thing is awesome such an amazing drop down prop right next we have our pumpkin patch pop-up uh so this guy kind of rests at about six feet again i'm about five ten um and then he's gonna pop up to almost nine feet so what we love here again is like the detail with the straw you're gonna see the green light up inside uh, we have some really cool leaves um and then his shroud with all the mesh so we will see him now <laughs> Okay, so here we have what we all thought was going to be a Mr. Dark reskin, but no, it's the pumpkin pop-up prowler, I think it was called. I kind of forgot again. He's pretty cool, 300 bucks. He is kind of scary, not gonna lie. His pop-up is very violent, goes pretty high, like they said, from six feet to nine, which is actually an increasingly like impressive height where it gets up to, but this thing i have to see in person if i want to know it's good for now i think like the animation of it jumping up is awesome i like the design of it the hands that's the only thing i don't like the hands why did it have to be green it can't be orange like it's a pumpkin pumpkins are not green maybe when they're like developing but right now like i don't know i don't like the green hands well otherwise this prop is amazing 300 bucks too it's not bad, but I definitely like this one. Uh, introducing Party City's Leatherface. We know there are several in the market. We're obviously biased by our own. Some really nice detail before we turn him on. Um, the mask detail with latex. Um, you know, some uh, iconic movie classics. The bracelet. Um, the apron is the right yellow color. Um, and the mechanism is not really uh unlike and it's it's different than others that we've seen out there so let's give him a go Okay, so we have another Leatherface from throughout the companies of Spear Halloween and Lowe's. But this one, in my opinion, is the best. Like, yeah, like they say, it definitely has a different mech from all the others. Now, I don't know what company this, made, this one is made from, but definitely whoever made it, great job. Because this mech makes this prop better than the rest. Obviously, the design is not better than the Spear Halloween one. But the animation sure wins it for this one. It has like a shaking animation. Plus, 
a jump scare that makes it like lift the chainsaw which is so so unique and awesome this is just yeah the best leather face out of all those companies and we are coming to our final prop which is definitely strange but let's get into it um, or just a lover of taxidermy in general um, we have our animated um, evil dead uh, taxidermy deer um, what we love about this guy is you can mount him indoor right so halloween year round <laughs> Um, and just some really great detail, right? Like he's missing chunks of his fur, his antlers. Um, it adds that extra like spookiness to your house, just in general, um, or, or your party. It's also cool because it's wall-mounted, so it's a little yeah. bit different than some of the other ones. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Awesome. Okay, in a nutshell, basically, this is a zombie deer head thing what what honestly like it's a cool prop like i i don't think it'd be for outside but it is a cool indoor prop definitely like only a hundred bucks pretty realistic i think it's a hundred bucks i kind of i can't tell but the antlers on this thing yeah the antlers look very realistic the blood and like fur the ripped fur looks realistic the wood is the one thing i'm concerned it doesn't look that realistic but Honestly, if you're going to put it on your wall, I don't think anyone would really see it behind this giant zombie deer head thing. But yes, this is the entire lineup of all the Halloween City slash 2020, yeah, slash Party City 2023 lineup animatronics. I kind of forgot if that is all of them, but from this video, that is everything they show us. But yeah, like and subscribe for more. This video took so long to edit. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.